mission to find a gem called Olivine. Rub it for it's good fun. luck. So it's literally a hit or miss. That's right. And nothing there. And the search continues. And the search continues. <laughs> Our treasure chest. Kilbourne Hole in Las Cruces, a site best described by self-proclaimed naturalist David Etzold as... It's magnificent emptiness. That's what it is. It's one of the few places in the country you can find olivine, also known as peridot. Kilbourne Hole is one of the largest mar craters in the American Southwest. It measures almost two miles wide and 300 feet deep. And what you're looking at around me is what remains of a volcanic eruption that happened more than 20,000 years ago. <music> Utah professor Libby Anthony has done more than 20 years of research at Kilbourne Hole. She says the mix of magma and steaming groundwater formed a massive explosion. <laughs> blast. That's called the lateral blast. And preserved at Kilbourne Hole is the lateral blast part of the volcanic explosion which has created Kilburn Hole. Ejected from that explosion, these olivine bearing xenoliths or rocks. It is an unusual mineral. Um, which is why it is a collector's item. This beautiful green mineral originated at at least 30 kilometers below the surface of the earth. In 2014, Kilbourne Hole became a protected national monument and could soon help unearth what's beyond our planet. So the rocks that we see there and the processes that form Kilbourne Hole are similar to some of the things we may see on Mars or perhaps the moon. It's a, it's a great resource to have here on Earth. And we're lucky to have it in our backyard. Once the training ground for Apollo astronauts on past moon missions, the Mar Crater will soon be the site of a NASA project called RIS-4E. So what we're doing with the drone is we fly cameras on board. UTEP professor Jose Hurtado will lead the research team. The idea behind our project is to study how we would um, explore the surfaces of other planets. Hurtado says they'll be testing tools and techniques for data collection. UTEP grad student Jennifer Dixon currently uses drones to create 3D maps of the hole. That's exciting because uh, you get to walk in the footsteps that someday maybe an astronaut would, kind of feel what they would be feeling and look at what they're looking at. Until that day comes, I return to my mission for the day. What do we look for in the olivine? You look for a rock sort of like this, laying on the surface. It's going to have a ropey surface appearance. It's going to have a slight green tinge on parts of it, and it's going to feel very heavy, much heavier than the other rocks around it. OK, and at the end, just hammer away. Take your hammer out and have fun. OK. Try after try. Uh, there oh. we go. Anything? No. Nah. And hanging on, despite my fear of heights. Ooh. This is scary. 40 minutes of searching, high and low, may have just paid off. I think we found one. Oh, we found one! See that green? Yes! There you so go. So that's gotta be it. That's gotta be the olivine. It's gotta be it. <gasps> this is beautiful! Is that Look at this. gorgeous or what? A small but shining reward. <laughs> Was that good or what? For those green to the search, but digging to learn more about this piece of borderland history. It's part of our area and this amazing event happened and hardly anybody knows about it.